Is the Yellowstone supervolcano about to erupt? A worrying study has revealed just how close its vast magma reservoir is to the surface. It's one of the world's largest active volcanoes, officially known as a supervolcano. And if it were to erupt today, its thought Yellowstone in the northwestern United States could cause a prolonged nuclear winter and global famine. Now scientists have revealed whether such a catastrophic event is getting closer to actually happening. Worryingly, their new study suggests Yellowstone's magma chamber is just 2.3 miles, 3.8 kilometers, or around 12,500 feet below the Earth's surface. That's about the same distance between Buckingham Palace and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Given that the volcano hasn't erupted for around 640,000 years, some experts and locals believe its next eruption is long overdue. However, the team doesn't think an eruption is imminent. One of the most famous volcanoes on Earth, Yellowstone lies beneath a national park that spans three states, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. There's a magma chamber that pulsates with superheated molten rock and toxic gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2, and hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Scientists have long known the chamber exists, but they haven't been able to pinpoint its upper limits or say for sure what's there. To learn more, experts used hundreds of portable and truck-mounted seismometers to create 2D images of the ground beneath the Yellowstone caldera, a bowl-shaped volcanic depression. Using artifismic waves, the team determined that a type of igneous rock called rhyolite makes up Yellowstone's magma chamber. The chamber covers an area 55 miles by 30 miles, stretching from 2.3 miles 3 .8 kilometers, below Earth's surface to 10 miles down. Beneath it lies a larger magma reservoir made of low silica basalt and containing far less molten rock, according to a 2015 University of Utah study. The lower reservoir is 12 to 28 miles, 19 to 45 kilometers, below the surface and measures 11,035 cubic miles, 46,000 cubic km. The researchers were able to locate the top of the uppermost chamber and determined that the top 86% is solid rock, with poor space accounting for the remaining 14%. The researchers found that the pore space is about half filled with liquid material and half filled with gases and volatile liquids. Volatile gases such as CO2 and H2O, released from magma, tend to accumulate at the top of the magma chamber because of their buoyancy. But most of the gas escapes through Yellowstone's surface features, such as small cracks in the ground that release hot mud, known as mud volcanoes. This means the gas doesn't build up to dangerous levels, preventing dangerous pressure buildup. If the channel, it can escape to the surface, said co-author Professor Fanchi Lin, a geophysicist at the University of Utah. Yellowstone volcano erupted violently 630,000 years ago, and many fear it is preparing to erupt again. Fortunately, the findings suggest Yellowstone's long dormant volcano is in no immediate danger of erupting, meaning such fears are unfounded. However, the study, published in Nature, does provide, quote, important clues about the structure of Yellowstone's magma body, according to its authors. We now understand more about the heat engine that drives Yellowstone and about how the melt is distributed, says Mike Poland, a geophysicist at the U.S. Geological Survey. That could have implications for how we view volcanic hazards, Despite its potential, Yellowstone National Park's famous volcanic activity 
attracts around 4 million visitors a year from around the world. One of the park's most famous geothermal features, the Old Faithful Geyser, spews out a plume of boiling water every 44 to 125 minutes.